Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Van. All right, let's talk about oxygen and hydrogen and how they can affect your health and kind of some of their differences. In regards to oxygen, it gets a little tricky because a lot of things actually fall under this category. For example, hydrogen peroxide, not really hydrogen, it's actually an additional oxygen molecule. So if anything, it's more oxygen. If you're ever gonna use hydrogen peroxide therapy, guys, make sure to do your homework, know exactly the protocol. Protocols are really, really important when it comes to oxygen therapy. You can actually cause a lot of damage and make sure it's food grade, make sure you know how to dilute it, make sure you use distilled water when you dilute it. There's a lot of factors in regards to using something like that. Another form of oxygen would be something like ozone therapy, O3. And ozone therapy, see the thing about oxygen as compared to hydrogen, oxygen is actually much more abrasive, a lot more aggressive. I mean, think about it. Oxygen oxidizes, okay? And then hydrogen, as we've now discovered, antioxidizes. So oxidation can be used in certain ways. For example, maybe you can use it to like try to kill a virus or bacteria. That's why using something like ozone can be really good for like cleaning countertops, disinfecting in a safe manner. Though there are people that I know who have tried to do ozone inhalation, but I really don't recommend that because it actually appears that it'll cause tissue damage within your lungs. So that's why when it comes to oxygen, you better know what you're doing. And you really don't wanna be consuming oxygen on a daily basis either. If you know anything about oxygen and how to use it therapeutically, a lot of like even athletes when they do like uh, oxygen therapy and for athletics, here's the thing, you, for example, when you do high altitude training or hyperbaric chambers where they actually mimic high altitude, what you're actually mimicking is less oxygen. But your body has a positive reaction to that because what it actually tries to do is create more red blood cells because there's not enough oxygen in the environment. You need additional red blood cells to get the proper amount of oxygen that you actually will need in order to function properly. Then later on, once you develop these additional red blood cells, then you can flood your body with oxygen. So now you do the opposite and you actually give more oxygen and then you have these additional cells. And it's really, really great, you know, for energy and for athletics, but you really, really have to know how to use it. In my opinion, oxygen is actually a lot more dangerous. You really, again, you have to know how to cycle it. You have to understand how the body reacts to it. The whole thing is really important to know how to use oxygen. As compared to hydrogen, I mean, as far as health, and the way that it can affect you positively, comparing these two, it's kind of like almost night and day to me because hydrogen just blows oxygen out of the water. Much more benefits with hydrogen. You can use it every day. In fact, it kind of shocks me because I've had a lot of people contact me and they're always sending me all these different videos and they want me to research other machines. And I've literally seen videos where like a hydrogen company will have an apparatus and they're talking about all the scientific evidence and all the benefits of hydrogen and their machine actually makes a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. And I'm thinking, guys, how misleading is that? Because what the problem is is that First of all, all the research was done with just hydrogen, not a mixture of oxygen and hydrogen. And then they try to you know, sell something that says, hey, this is uh, the best hydrogen machine when it's actually a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen, which is actually kind of old technology and you definitely don't wanna be doing that on a regular basis. You don't wanna consume oxygen in that manner regularly. It's just not the way you wanna do it. You want more antioxidants. You really just wanna be consuming the hydrogen regularly and you gotta do a proper protocol for that. And people keep asking me about that too and you can actually contact me directly. The reason I haven't put out a video about that yet is because the protocol can actually be different for each person and I don't want anybody using it the wrong way. So if you guys wanna contact me, you can actually look below. I'm gonna put some information down there for you guys and then um, I can help you out with that. But anyway, back to hydrogen. So with hydrogen, you can definitely use it every day. Oxygen, you'd wanna know how to cycle it, how to do it properly, and if you can't afford the real expensive oxygen equipment, because some of that equipment's really expensive, you can always do something called the Wim Hof method. Absolutely amazing. If you guys want me to make a video about that, um, I can but you can easily Google it. A lot of information out there about how to do it and you can naturally increase oxygen in your body with certain breathing techniques. And he also has other techniques which are honestly super amazing. This guy literally, they had to rewrite the medical books because of this gentleman who they also called the Iceman who was able to utilize breathing techniques and oxygen to give a lot of benefit ultimately to your body. So back to hydrogen and oxygen. So ultimately you really wanna just stick to hydrogen and then you can use oxygen periodically, sporadically. And I, I think that's ultimately what would be best for your health. 
Another key difference um, that I have noticed that's interesting about oxygen and hydrogen is that if you fill up a balloon with oxygen, it's just gonna be kind of, you know, a limp balloon. It's not gonna flow or anything because oxygen's actually more dense, all right? And now if you filled up a balloon with hydrogen, it's gonna wanna flow, it's gonna look all plump, and it's gonna, you know, it's gonna wanna float away. Kind of like, um, makes me think of like purity rising. You know, you wanna feel light. You don't wanna feel heavy and bogged down. And oxygen is a little more heavy and in my opinion, hydrogen is definitely by far better, but I think oxygen definitely has its place and you can use it periodically. And I think that's ultimately the best way to do it. Hopefully this video helped you understand a little bit more about the differences between oxygen and hydrogen and their benefits and ultimately just their differences. And if it did, of course, as always, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time on the next one.